Up, evening all. This is Toon Review uh, reporting live for the uh, Newcastle versus Wolves match preview. We have a full squad tonight. Both of my co hosts have actually bothered to turn their asses up tonight. Uh, no <laughs> doggy passports and early mornings to go through. Um, nope. So we can actually talk about the big game tomorrow night. Alex, I take it you've got your graphics all at the ready. I don't have a formation graph, I've got stats. Well, yeah. Um, Formation wise, it's it's pretty much change Spurs shirts to orange and make them yeah. more Portuguese names. It's a very similar system, but we'll talk about that, I guess. Wolverhampton del Portugal uh, mm -hmm. is where we're going, is who we're playing tomorrow. Uh, Danielle, uh, obviously, um, we haven't spoke to you since the debacle at Tottenham. Um, mm -hmm. What were your feelings on it? Well, I kind of expected to lose anyway. I think when, when we did our predictions, in terms of points totals a few weeks ago. I initially yeah. said that we'd lose. Um, and then I got me normal, like, excitedness when it got closer to the game. And then I went Never. for 2-1. Yeah, I know it's not like me. No but for way. me, it wasn't a loss. It was the manner that was a loss that got me. Mm. It just reminded us so much of the Everton game in the last, like, half an hour of the game when we just went to sleep. Except it wasn't, it wasn't like, it was for a lot longer in the game. We just didn't turn up at all, basically, after the first maybe half an hour. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I wasn't overly upset with lo the loss, it was just embarrassing towards the end, really. Yeah, um, it, it, I mean, Alex, anything did you pick up anything from Eddie Howe's press conference today? Um, yeah, a little bit uh, about the, the additional illness and Willock's mm -hmm. knee and things like that, and yeah. Joe Linton coming off as a result of, po of having a bit of sickness as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so possibly some of the comments we all made um, maybe slightly harsher, but we, we did say, you know, maybe there's more to it and it looks like mm -hmm. there, there was more to it. So uh, it's just unfortunate, but we've still got to play the football, even if the lads are ill or injured, we still got to play the football matches. So um, yeah. maybe we can attest a little bit down to it, to, to not being fully fit and some people having sickness. So it helps a tiny bit. Um, mm -hmm. I was very disappointed with him getting constantly asked about the fans mood swings, which is down to a lot of the fan base constantly Aggieing players and situations, and people need to chill a little bit. We don't want to become Manchester United fans, do we? Yeah, yeah, nah. Well, no, we don't. And I, I think um, uh, I, I was I was very interested in what he had to say about the illnesses. To be honest, because I'm mm -hmm. kind of trying to work that out and think, well, who who could he be talking about, or who who is picking these illnesses up? He's obviously not giving anything away before the game tomorrow. Um, I mean, we, we, you know, the team could be announced tomorrow, an hour before kickoff, and we could have a few players missing that we didn't expect down to this mm -hmm. mysterious yeah. illness that's going through the, yeah. the, the, I think there was the club. 14 yeah. in the training pitches today, I believe. Mm. 14 or 16. So there's there's a lot of problems, it seems, behind the scenes. Um, but yeah. we, we are sort of given a boost, Danielle, by the fact that they're missing Jimenez and Neves tomorrow, yeah. two, of their, two of their crucial players. Yeah, we need it. We need it. Um, I know we should really be going and in, in, in aiming to win, but we need these points. I think. Uh, I think it's close, and I, I don't think we're safe yet. I really don't think we are. So I think we need to pick up the points. We've got Manchester City coming up soon. We've got Liverpool coming up soon. 
And I don't see we're much getting much out of those games, um, mm. unfortunately. But I think we need the three points tomorrow night. So anything that's a help in hand to us, we will take it. I mean, they've got other players, Alex, obviously, and and, mm. and, and many from Portugal. Um, Pedro Neto's <laughs> fit again, which is a massive boost for them. So yeah. I would expect him to start. Yeah, yeah, they've um, they do have some. They've got people away. They've got people back. Uh, but recent games, as I've I've looked into the like sway of play graphics, um, and Wolves look like they've been dying off late into games recently. Mm. Um, so they, like four, three, four, five games ago, they were quite strong throughout the second half, and it looks like they've just started to die off in the end of their second half. So they've had a bit of what we've had. Um, so it'll be interesting. I think that. I think that final half an hour is going to be really interesting because that's been the final half an hour of matches has been the most important thing for us this year and this mm-hmm. season. Yeah, um, it's been so crucial to getting points. So I think I think it's going to be another game that's decided in the final half an hour. Unfortunately, oh, I, I kind of take that. I kind of take no. that kind of Newcastle game where it could go either way in the last thirty minutes of a football game. Um, it, it petrifies the life out of me, to be honest. Um, a, because I've become accustomed to conceding goals in the last five minutes and mm-hmm. uh, whether it be equalisers or uh, they go a goal ahead or whatever it may be, I've become sort of accustomed to it with Newcastle United. And B, I'm sick of it happening. No, so, same. you know, can you not be a bit more positive, Alex, and say, look, we'll be 3-0 up by 10 minutes to yeah, go. And I know, you know, I... We'll be chasing the fourth goal. <laughs> I mean, I think we'll be a lot more solid. Uh, based on Spurs, I think he'll either do the same thing in a more careful way, or he's just going to go for a wing backs and match them. Um, so either way, we I think we'll be a lot more solid, and it won't be as stressful. Uh, but it might not be as free flowing as as we might like. But mm. I think we've got to take it right now. We just need the points. However, however, yeah. we're going to try and get them. We've got to get them. So if he plays wing backs, yeah. fine. I'll, I'll I'll take that. Absolutely. Well, I, yeah, I'll not be bothered as long as we get three points. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, to be honest, that's the most crucial thing because I, I genuinely believe if we get three points tomorrow, yeah. we're safe. I can't yeah. see us being caught. Um, so, you know, and and uh, just a big shout out to Everton. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> um, what a disaster for them last night, by the way. Um, Devastated. I mean... Honestly, you couldn't write a script. Uh, they should have won that game, in all honesty. Everton should have. But um, Well, I think I, from, from apparently what Sean Dyche said at half-time to his team, that apparently Everton don't know how to win a game. So No, they don't. I'm sure so, that's what Sean was saying, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Spot on that, mine, Paul. Uh, thanks. Spot thanks. on. Um, Dominic says, uh, hi, Paul, Alex and Danielle. Uh, feeling nervous for tomorrow. It will be a close one. Uh, I think everybody's... Um, mm, I know. Yeah. Uh, Ab says, uh, respect to everyone in China. Please subscribe and let's get the 100 million. <laughs> Cheers, Abs. I no, caught no, up no, on that. Uh, yes, I thought you might. I thought you might. Uh, Liam says, hello, everyone. Watching my first Newcastle home match. Can't wait. Hope for a big win. Uh, come and say hello, Liam. Just have buy the club time. shop before the game. Yeah, uh, generally have a nice time. It, it should be... Uh, it, it's apparently going to be a nice sunny day tomorrow. Uh, still on the chilly side, nine degrees, I reckon, but uh, weather forecast says nice and sunny. So, you know, it'll be a perfect night for football. Uh, you know, the, the, that kind of mild sort of blue sky, dusky night. I don't know where I'm going with Beautiful. that, but you know what I mean. Uh, Neil says, hi from South Africa. Hoping Newcastle don't get into a typical Newcastle losing streak. I mean, do you think it's playing on the minds, Danielle, about, you know, they've lost three in a row. Um, after going so long unbeaten, will that be playing on the minds? Or do you think Eddie will just be telling them, look, concentrate on this game. It's not about what's gone before. It's all about now and the future. Um, I hope it's not playing on the minds because yeah. I think we need it come out all guns blazing. We're at home next three games. These are the, the winnable, you know, if we're going to get points, we'll get it with the 12th man because of St. James's Park on a, on a normal game is buzzing, but on an evening game is even better. So we need that. But um, it's a funny one. It is a funny one because we're, we're feeling it. We, of course, we're feeling it. We're thinking, I've, I've seen people saying it, you know, we're stuck in a rut now, other other things. I don't, I don't believe we are. I think we just need something isn't working, whether it's the illness in the squad, people aren't 100% perhaps and they're out on the field. Um, mm. We definitely saw that against Everton. Um, yeah. I, don't, I still have faith, honestly, and I know I do this every week. 
I do. I know I do. But until hey, it's, listen, it's not over, it's over. That. Like in my opinion, and I think, I think we'll, I think we'll win tomorrow night. Um. Uh, yeah. I. I... Listen, had Neves and Jimenez been playing, I might have thought differently. But then again, it all depends on what what players are on that team sheet tomorrow, come an hour before the game, because obviously mm. we, we, we don't know. We're going uh, into a blind at the minute, aren't we? So yeah, we always much. do now. We, we always do. <laughs> I mean, I remember under Rafa, it used to be, you never know what team sheet he was going to come out with. And that was when everyone was fit. But with Eddie, you just you, you don't know who's fit. You don't know who's... It's, it's mental. Mm-hmm. Uh, Liam says, what fish are they in the background? Well... Story about them. I did have African cichlids up to a couple of days ago, all those bonnie colours. Uh, oh, they're now no. all in Susan's fish tank. Oh, um, I thought you were going to say they were down the loo there. No, 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 no. No, no, no. They're in Susan's tank. I have oh. now got American and South American cichlids. So I've got Oscars, Jaguars. Uh, basically, I've got all the ones that will bite you as soon as you put your hand in the tank. It's it's basically a predator tank now. Um, so of course the, the, you have, Paul. Of course all you the, have. The, the, the teeth... <laughs> The teeth are in there now, so oh, yeah. Um, I've you know she's got the she's got the Africans and I've got the South Americans now with the teeth and what bite. So mine is a predator tank now, so I get to threaten the kids with it. Anytime they're naughty, I will put the fingers in the fish tank and let the fish deal with them. Um, please don't call children's services on me. Uh, um, Ryan says I'd rather things be kept confidential than out in the public. Uh, yeah. Richard said, not pleased that the gap to third bottom has been reduced to seven points, but bloody delighted that Everton lost 3-2 after being 2-1 up. Uh, Michael says, hi, all think it's going to be a hard-fought game tomorrow. 2-1 mm-hmm. tune. Two, uh, Wolves will score at the end like they always do against us. Now, you know, many people are going to slate me for this, Alex, right? But Wolves have a very good defence. Uh, they they do they do they're very good this year in terms of their overall conceded they 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 were up until recently one of the best in the league for it um, outside the big four um, they do have a weakness in defence though a rather a rather glaring weakness it is you it's from your, you, your big you, man you dare you dare bring up Conor Cordy <laughs> and I swear to God I will fire your ass live on television here. <laughs> Okay, well, instead of me bringing up then, I'll let FB ref bring up his um, uh, one aerial duels, one per 90 in the that's bottom. That's because he's running around keeping European the rest football. of the defense in, t- in, in turn. That's so, why. That's why. Well, they, this is why they play a back three in theory. Um, they've played a back three for a very, very long time. Um, Connor uh-huh. Cody is, is, is good at passing, but mm-hmm. his overall defensive statistics and, and aerial presence is somewhat lacking. He, he does feel like a. a slightly upgraded version of Eric Dyer in my opinion. Um, Uh-oh. <laughs> and with Big Dan Burn in the box, it's definitely there to be exploited. Um in future when you say things like that, can you give me like a 10 second warning? <laughs> oh Jez, um, Alex stats mean shit. <gasps> A shot fired. I'm telling you, right? When it comes to Conoco, I will not have you nah. I've, I, I mean, there's heart. more context to it. There is more context. Um, <laughs> Cody's good at certain things, which is why he has Willie Bowley next to him to win more. He, he does the things that Connor Cody can't do. So they are a, a mishmash of centre-backs and they do different jobs in different ways. In the same way, if we're to play Dan Burn next to Sharon Lascelles, they're three very different centre-backs and you can target the three of them for different things. Um, so definitely with Chris Wood and, and Burn. Um, and having watched the, all the recent highlights of the Wolves games, they're, they're definitely a little bit sloppy at the back. A lot of it reminds me a bit of Everton sometimes. Uh, they conceded a few, a couple of sloppy goals that, the, that there was their own fault messing around with it in defence, um, and a little bit poor from set pieces coming coming for it in the air headers, um, and that's what we've been fairly tidy at in recent months. So it's definitely there to be exploited. So strong defence, but it has been wobbling in recent weeks. Okay. I mean, Leeds your, fingers put three... are, your fingers are going in the fish tank. Just so Leeds you. put three past them, and it wasn't through Leeds pressing. It was through Wolves just making tons of mistakes. Yeah, well, to be honest, Alex, I watched that game, and it, it, that could have been any score. Yeah. I mean, the first half, Wolves could have been six or seven up by half time. Second half, Leeds could have scored 10. And that was the most bizarre two sided game I've ever seen. You know, you talk about game of two halves. That was a perfect example of it because it was pinball. Um, it was crazy. 
yeah, it was it it was absolute madness. Uh, Caitlin and Nick, thank you very much for your nine pound super chat. Uh, they've commented saying never insult Connor Cody to Paul. I nearly got a red card for it on the forum. He did. Yeah, indeed. it was nice to see Nick on the forum. Actually, it was it's a great debut. Uh, uh, but uh, you know, Danielle will have to get herself on. Uh, uh, Caitlin, sorry, not Danielle. You're already here. What am oh, I yeah. about? Uh, would have preferred Everton win, to be honest, says Abs, but we, st- uh, but still think we will confirm our safety in the next few games. Um, yeah, I, listen, I think I think win tomorrow, and I can't see us being caught. I just can't. Um, Jim says, I want us to be safe, and Burnley beating us and condemning Everton to championship on the last day of the season. Oh, painful. Listen, if that meant Everton went down, if we lost, and it meant Everton going down, there's only one result I would want on that day, as long as we're safe. I think that's what Jim's saying. We're safe. And how quickly are the are the players going to jump ship from that club? Oh well, you know what I mean, be quicker you know, than Rats I mean, off the Titanic. Obviously, wouldn't? Jordan Pickford shouldn't jump jump any ships because with them arms, it's very difficult to swim, especially in shark infested waters. He would just sink. Um, He'd be going so in your fish tank, wouldn't he? He'd live there. He would. Yes, I'd, I'd feed him to them. Um, you know, <laughs> no problem at all. Uh, listen, given that my predators are only this big at the minute but they do get that big you know i I am going to need a bigger tank eventually hello Mm -hmm. susan (laughs) um (laughs) so i am going to need a bigger tank eventually but i mean the 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 main predators can grow to like a foot or a foot and a half in size so they are big fish but uh we'll see uh foxy says don't think that result was great for us either was hoping a draw um well i mean yeah uh i'm being called the cookie monster for that sean dice accent (laughs) <laughs> it was a little bit of Cookie Monster hybrid, Sean Dice, yes. wasn't it? Yes, thanks, Alex. If you've not insulted me enough tonight, uh, <laughs> uh, even a Paul Daniel stat or two on the tune. Uh, what was that accent, Honey Monster? Says Julie. <laughs> There's just no need. Like seriously, uh, Caitlin and Nick, Paul, you're not as good as impersonating people as Farley. Farley. Uh, have you seen his video after the match? I've seen some of Farley, you know, but, you know. Some of it's uh, good, some of it's not. Some, of it, Yes, I'd agree with that, definitely. Mm. Uh, Julie says, ah, that's it, the cookie monster. Listen, you want to start talking about accents, Brummy, right? <gasps> if there's not one <laughs> most annoying accent on the planet, it's <laughs> the Brummies. I think, even I think worse than, hey, 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 hey. Check I think it's I need, need it's even worse than that. Therapy. Yeah, whatever. After this. Um, Alex, is Bruno starting tomorrow? Yeah, he's got to. He, mm. He's in. He's in the training photos. He's fit. They made him do a, an interview. I don't know if you've seen that. That's just gone up. Yes, uh, on, on the website. He's done a little thirty-second video saying, he "I'm has. very happy. I'm training well." Uh, I'm very happy. I'm training my... well. I love Newcastle. Exactly. United. They scored many goals. They play very uh, good. Uh, to be very happy. It's, yeah, <laughs> the same. Very good. Very good. Um, <laughs> It's the same Spanish, in, you could insert, you know, Spanish manager clip. They say the same things. But no, <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Yeah. He was saying he's looking forward to possibly starting at St. James's. So yeah. he, the fact that he put that in his little interview is a, is, a, is a massive foreshadowing, I think, for him starting, especially with the, with the illness. Uh, well, I, oh, I don't know why I'm doing that illness. It's because it's the mystery illness. It's COVID and there's a bit of whatever we don't know. Um, with Willock, potentially Joe Linton and the injuries. They might have been on um, the Kinder Vex, you know. Lola well, maybe. Yeah. What? Um, kinder eggs, salmonella. Mm-hmm. Salmonella. Yeah, and the kinder eggs. Chocolate. Yeah, it's in, they've all been they've all been recalled. All the kinder oh, eggs. Really? Mm-hmm. Have they? Yeah. yeah. So check the cupboards, Paul. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, have I got any? <laughs> I'll need to check. I don't know how we segue <laughs> to his long staff starting instead. I, I, I can't. Someone that are a long staff. Right, listen, if he starts long staff instead of Bruno, I'm going to ask questions of Eddie Howe tomorrow. I really am. It, it was I, his I think... comments in the press conference where he went, well, I'm not going to start anybody for the atmosphere of the fans. I'm going to mm. start them because they're supposed to be starting. So Yeah, but then what he said he... about Bruno, pretty... But... Uh, yeah, I agree. Long staff over Bruno. I agree, no, but I'm... it's weird that he felt the need to segue to say that. Oh, I'm um, sweating now. Don't say that. I can't. I think Bruno will start. Don't worry. I wouldn't worry oh, about it. You. I think he oh, will. God. It'd be so strange if he doesn't. Have you noticed, though, Danielle? Alex has got a bit of a Bruno beard. Have mm, you noticed that? Very, indeed. Uh... Well, I'm older than him, so maybe Bruno's got a bit of a me beard. Oh. Mm. Fair enough. Uh, Kian says, uh, good evening, everyone. I think he's going to drop Big Joe and Little Joe and start Bruno and Sean Longstaff. Think Dan Byrne will be rested as well and Lascelles will start. 
Oh, sweet Jesus. I mean, Longstaff's really good at pressures, so if he can just sort of float around Bruno and fly swat things, you never know. Interesting. Uh, well, yeah, but I mean... Come Doubtful, on. but interesting. I'm not prepared for that. You got, uh, they don't Wolf have Nevers, have a... remember, so... No, they don't. I, I think Wolves are a little bit light in midfield tomorrow, to be D- honest. And Donker is, is decent, but he's not Neves. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Cesare says, uh, nothing wrong with that faith, Danielle. We're in a good place and we're still getting used to the feeling. Happy feeling. six months birthday, everybody. It is Take indeed. Over. Yes, yes. That, that, this, that. this time six months ago, yes, it was questionable two, the state those, of me, mind. Those two crazy long streams, uh, uh, live streams, mm-hmm. Danielle absolutely hammered. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, it wasn't my best moment, mind. Uh, I'd better. I'm pleased you admit it. Uh, Paul says the boys <laughs> took a hide in the last game. I'm sure they'll bounce back. I have faith. Um, so do I, Paul. Andy says, get to the chopper. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I can't bear another last minute winner for the opposition, especially if it's Connor Cordy. Um, no, I'd safely say if, if Connor Cordy scored the winner for Burnley in the last few minutes. Um, for Burnley? Yeah, for... You're pushing it tonight, Alex. You're pushing it. <laughs> I mean, they're, <laughs> by him, they're losing their centre-backs, aren't they? Hey, what side of the bed did you get out of the day, son? I mean, Don't mention Christ. eggs. Nobody mention eggs. No, let's not. <laughs> but you mentioned Kinder Eggs before. Oh, yeah? Uh, are we going to hatch a new... Uh, a new academy from Kinder Eggs now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Santo says, did someone say Connor Cody? Um, can we get a Connor Cody count, please? No, because we're not talking about him. Michael says, hope one of your fish is called Big now. Uh, he's South American and bites. Big. I think he meant Big Joe um, instead of Big Now. Uh, I'm presuming you meant Big Big Joe, because if you said big now, I ain't got a freaking clue who you're talking about, Michael. Oh, so sure. Name them after all our South American players. That's cool. Exactly, exactly. Uh, big Dan Byrne, header from a free kick, says Matty. John's back door says, what do you say about Cody? I'm late for the show. Absolutely nothing. Uh, Cody will be checking out his new home, says Jason. Uh, Chipper says, Connor Cody is just a crap Mike Williamson. <sighs> Uh, Conrad, Dan Byrne and Shah will keep out the strikers of Wolves. Do you think he will start Dan Byrne tomorrow, Danielle, or will he go with Lascelles? Because oh, it's a legitimate on. question. Because Dan Byrne has, you know, the last couple of games, he's looked a bit edgy. And so has Lascelles for the past two and a half years. Well, that's a very so, good point as well. I, yes. I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Because I, don't, I, I can't, I don't, I don't want to say Lascelles. I want to say Big Dan Byrne. Um, if once we're safe, if he wants to come and play Lascelles, let, let that be, you know, the case. But I, I just think it has to be Dan Byrne for me. I know he's made mistakes, but if we look at if we look at the last game, it's against Spurs. We look at Everton. Who didn't make mistakes in that squad? Who? Like, come on, man. Nah, for me, it's Dan Byrne all the way. Fair enough. But no doubt, I'll be proven wrong tomorrow. <laughs> you never know. Uh... It's always the case. Yeah, it, it, it could be. We may mm-hmm. not. Uh, Kieran says, Paul definitely buys Conor Cordy on all of his FIFA career modes. He does. Not once have I bought him. Well, have you not? Not once. I'm surprised. Because I'll tell you why. I keep she forgetting. starts wolves. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I keep forgetting. It's as simple as that. Because I start uh, whenever I start off career modes, I turn the transfer window off to start with all the teams. And then I get to uh, January and I completely forget. Um, so uh. yeah. Uh, by the way, I've just got that new Xbox. Um, not the not the, the the Series X. I got the Series S, the little small thing. The it's white one's good. Aye, mm. it's bloody good. I tell you, it's fast. Uh, anyway, Shamrock Ball says, "Just came on. Good to see Daniel. It's Daniel, not Daniel. But never mind. Man, man. Being um, a pretty face to look at. Cheers, Shamrock. Yeah, Love you drink. too, buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ancients of Moo Moo. Go on, Alex." Oh, yeah, oh, go on, Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Grant says I should have called one of my fish Suarez. Oh, that's uh, a good one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's, he, he did put Daniel, actually. He's changed it. Oh, thanks, Shamrock. James says Cody is average. Uh, Connor Cody arriving via the toll road, quicker route north, says Julie. <laughs> uh, full house at St. James's tomorrow. Hope the lads uh, take that on board and get the three points. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Uh, and I did mention this in my video earlier on, uh, Danielle, that the, the atmosphere, um, I think Eddie Howe always talks about that in his, his press conferences whenever we've got a home game. Mm-hmm. And the fact that we've had four away games, really tough away games, and now we come home for three, we've got to make that a Count. cauldron. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Of course we do. It needs to be absolutely crazy in that ground tomorrow night. And I know it will. Um, it's been a long, it feels like forever since we were at the last home game. I can't even mm-hmm. remember. It's just so long ago. Um, and it feels like so much has happened in that time. But I think tomorrow night it'll be, if not better, I think it'll be on par with Everton when we played Everton at St. James's. That night was unforgettable. I'll oh, never yeah. forget it. Brilliant. Just not even even before the kickoff, the atmosphere was just electric. Mm. It was just amazing, and you knew it was a special night. And I think we're going to have that again tomorrow night. Go on, Daniel. Daniel's been eating the raw meat that day. Uh, Jim wants to know if you got your po- uh, pooch pass. I did indeed. Yeah. Uh, good, when, good. Are you, when, when are you coming back, anyway, Alex? Uh, next month, hopefully. Depends on everything, but cool. Soon, so I might I might be might be there for the Arsenal game. We'll see if I'm there in Ooh. time. I'll try and sort tickets out. Well, give me a shout and I'll try and get them. I'll, I'll season ticket holders get them first. Now, I mean, um, Toon Blog says our problem is our striker, oh, uh, <laughs> Chris Wood, and he's not a handful for anyone. Cody will defend him, knee bother. Um, right, uh, his name was bound to pop up tonight, wasn't it? Bloody Chris Wood. I mean. Um, Eddie didn't even mention him in the press conference, to be honest. He never said much about him at all. So, you know, I mean, I've seen Even people... if you did mention him, though, he would, well... he would do his, his Eddie Howe thing and he would back him 100% because that's what a manager does. So, um, I, 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 honestly, I just, I can't understand, well, I can't understand it. I just don't know why we bought him in the first place. Why did we do it? I don't, under, I don't understand well, that purchase. I... <laughs> Look, when you look back at it, I think the main reason for that purchase was to um, deplete Wolves of a number nine. But they went and got uh, Wolves. Burnley. Maybe. Damn it, Alex. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, to deplete Burnley of a striker, but they went and got Vicost, and he's he's proven to be quite a good player for them. And how much did they pay for him, Alex? Nine nine million or something? Was it? Jesus. I thought it was like 12 or something. Nine somewhere around the 10 like mark, yeah. 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 Uh, but for me, how, like uh, the on. guy, the, the, the size of him though, he's not even trying. And again, I mean, he's aerial jewels. He's not even trying. We watched him like, against Spurs, and like, what's he doing? He's standing there. Like mm. I, I don't understand it. Just show some effort. Like it's the lack of effort for me, and he's just not good enough. And I, we can say it every week. You know, he'll probably score three tomorrow, and then again, I'll be proven wrong. But hopefully, that is the case. But indeed, you know, I, 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 I can't say it, and I don't think Dwight Gale's the answer either. So, very, very interesting comment coming up here, Alex, and I want oh. you to take very, very, very good notice of it. <laughs> Study it hard, read it proper, and soak it proper. in. <laughs> I read. <laughs> Unloaded HQ show before this, the Wolves fan said Cody is having his best season at Wolves. Mm. Mm-hmm. Pipe, smoke it. He's still Says the, the weakest founder mem- uh, member of the Pat Connor Cody fan club. He's still Sorry, exploitable. Danielle, I, didn't hear, I, I didn't hear. What did you say? No, I've got no comment to make without without legal representation. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's from why do I have you two on this show? Why? <laughs> All you do is is is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, What's that? I mean, I, I don't I, know. <laughs> I'll say what I said before. He's a good player, but he has a weakness, or which is why they play a back three. Um, and we've got his weakness is what we've got in abundance, which is big lads for Joe Linton, Dan Burn, Chris Wood. So if we can get some of that, like Joe Linton with his header from a corner, mm. Dan Burn doing at back post flickings back into the central areas. If we can get some of that working, it's very exploitable. Yeah, but this there. is this is a game where. You know, we said it last week, though. You said it, Alex. This is a game that you'd expect Chris Wood to try and boss. Mm. You know, try and get it to Eric Dyer last week. He didn't. Not once. But this is a chance. If Cody is susceptible Maybe. to that, 
then Dan, then surely Chris Wood needs to go at him. Uh, just before yeah. you comment, uh, Wolves F1, thank you very much for the seven pound super chat. Uh, actually, seven euros, but thank you. Uh, Airway, Airway NUFC, uh, need also some points, but I'm backing nil too. Uh, fair enough, back your own team, though, haven't you? Of course, you, you have, so. yeah, of course, you have. Uh, go on, Alex. Um, yeah, no, you're right, possibly, but uh, in a back three as well, I do think I do think that Wood is going to get man-marked and they're going to be very wary of him in the box because, he, you know, if, you, if he's a big lad and if you give him enough chances, he'll score one. So you, they can't just, because he's been poor, they can't just ignore that. They can't just leave him alone because he's been poor or he will score. Um, yeah. So they're going to have to pick him up somewhat. Um, so similar to how Bruno got his first goal with his magical flick, I think that a lot of the big lads are going to be marked so heavily. I think there might be some space for other people. Um, think, think, you know, when some Shelby or Longstaff sometimes get some hits from the edge of the box or Bruno's flick, I think we might get some tap-ins from potential tap-ins or shots from from some of the other lads because mm-hmm. they're going to be so preoccupied with Wood and Burn and possibly Joe Linton if he starts, they're, mm-hmm. they're going to be trying to mark them. Um, so I'm not sure Wood is going to necessarily get the goal, but I think he's going to do that. He's going to do the thing that people have been saying all this time. He's going to occupy defenders and it might hopefully lead to somebody like Bruno being in a bit of space on a set piece. I'm um, sick of hearing that. I'm sick of hearing that. I know, that. but it's all we've got. So we've we've got to use it. Can we not play someone in a false name? It's, it's, yeah, we've all suggested this, Both, but Eddie Howell right? doesn't seem to want that. Hear this. So, if half of the, whoever, however many are down with the illness that's going around, why can't we bring some of the kids in? Like, why not? Well, why? listen, I've, I have said, you know, Dylan Stevenson, uh, even give Munoz a shot. He looks decent, you know, he, he does actually look decent. Um, yeah. I thought it was a joke. I thought it, I don't think it was he a can, big though, joke that he? signing. Considering how much he's backed Chris Wood and how much the lads like Chris Wood, yeah, but he's starting to look he, like a bit, him, a, a bit of a silly Billy. You know what I mean? He's he's backing. Yeah, but how will look even more silly if he benches him and brings a kid on? I know, for but a he's, start. He's, um, he's, he's looking like his name Wood. He's Wooden. Yeah. Well, I'm, you know? I'm hoping that they'll take that performance against Tottenham and they will have worked on things um, because he had a spell of two or three games where he improved. So. Hopefully, we'll see some improvements from him. Yeah. Paul, I think you're in trouble. <laughs> I'm getting the feeling I am. <laughs> uh, uh, how's the Parkinson's, Paul? Is it looking good for the game tomorrow? Yeah, I should be there. No, I should be there. I'm fine. Um, I've had a bit of a... Uh, I saw my consultant last Friday, I believe. Um, so the, But I've uh, I've got to see... No, I saw the nurse specialist last Friday. She said I've got to see my consultant due to these dizzy spells I've been having. So I've got to see the consultant in a month's time. So uh, hopefully it's nothing to worry about. But um, obviously this one has checked over. Um, Julie says, let me go, Susan. Oh, Christ. Oh, Jesus. Uh, the illness could be Woods rigor mortis, says Abs. Wow. Well. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I can't though, disagree with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chipper says, do you all think Joe Linton needs an operation? He seems to be struggling. I just hope he's not prolonging it. Oh, I've no, said this for a while think... now. Um, I've said it for a while, Danielle. That, you know, when you see him, he, he certainly against Spurs, he didn't seem as mobile. Now, that may well be because everybody had an off day, but he didn't seem as mobile. Um, and he's, he's not really sort of winning the ball and bursting forward like he, like, like he has done. Um, which is a bit of a worry for me. You know, I said to Alex a, a few weeks ago that I think, you know, the, these groin problems, you know, nine out of ten times end up in an operation. Yeah, well, ultimately, mm-hmm. the, uh, did you ask me or Danielle? I'm not even it sure. Danielle, but you can... Oh, uh, sorry, uh, well, yeah. no, but I just really? said... I just... What I was saying was a few weeks ago, I said to you, Alex, about the about the possibility of an operation. But, you did? I remember you saying yeah. that. I, yeah. I'm just angry that the journalists haven't asked Eddie Howe yet. Because in the, they're too busy caught up in the f- mood swings of the fan base instead of asking real questions like, do we think that Joe old Linton's rhetoric. groin... Exactly. They, they could be asking, do we think Joe Linton's groin injury possibly could need surgery in the summer because it's been a reoccurring problem throughout the season? This is a legitimate question that a proper professional journalist who are paid a decent salary should be asking and doing their job. But instead, mm. they're talking about mood swings. It is pathetic. Um, and you and really else is pathetic while we're on the subject of this, right? The reason this fan base has mood swings is because of the crap they write. 
Simple as that. Oh, yeah, they, they ES, do stir the pot. ESM's going at the end of the season. Oh, he mm. wants forty grand extra a week or whatever. He wants. To, he wants more. He's the same as Trippier and all the rest of it. How do you know that? How do you know that? Just stop stirring the pot. We're, we're trying to fight for, to confirm our survival. We, they did all this with Steve Bruce, and I know a lot of it was kind of Steve Bruce's fault, but. We came out looking like the bad guys. Oh, look at the Newcastle fans. Aren't they all bullies? Blah, blah, blah. All the rest of it. Just cut yeah. your crap. Nobody's... No, we're not bullies. We we are behind Eddie Howe. We are behind our team. But all of this crap stirring, I'm not going to swear, is mm-hmm. not helping the situation at all. I think it's an absolute disgrace. Anyway, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, the five-minute Danielle rant is back. How we have <laughs> missed it. How we have missed that over the last few weeks. I can't say weeks. that because I think it's disgusting. Simple. Yes. Um, Jeanette Johnston, thank you very much for your five pound super chat. She says, Hi guys, Bruno dissects defenses. Uh, why not drop Wood and play Maxi Miggy or Murphy or Fraser through the middle for pace? Uh, couldn't do any worse. Um, I mean, I, I, I said about playing Willick as a false nine, but obviously, Willick's you know, we yeah. think he's going to be out tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, he's not going to be available. Um, I mean, Danielle, I mean, is there anybody or any, anything you would try? To, to instead of wood, we've tried ASM in that role before and it wasn't great. Um, but I suppose what we've got now isn't great, so <laughs> you know, it I, I, I agree with that comment actually. I think we need to do, we need to do something because I, I just don't think I mean, every game he's getting shots that he should be putting away and he's just getting nothing on the end of it. And you just think, for God's sake, like what. I know it's not his fault, and I take the point that we signed him, we signed him for twenty five million. So it's got nothing to do with him. But at the end of the day, he's not good enough. And whose fault is that? Like, it's not my fault. It's not your fault, Paul. That you're paying your season ticket for. It isn't. You know, that's that's the bottom line. So yeah, give it, give it a shot. Put put. Is it Miggy? Probably not. I, I probably wouldn't do it with Miggy. Um. <sighs> I, I, I don't know the right answer, but I know it's not Chris Wood. So, but I'd, I'd bring the kids on. I'd bring yeah. the kid on. I would. Okay. I take it you're going to stick with Chris Wood, Alex. Um. Yeah, I just don't feel like there's mm. an alternative. Um. Yeah. I, I don't. Well, I. There, there is, there is some. I, I like this whole false nine idea, but. I think the only way that works is if we bring people like Willock in and try things out. Mm. And the way Willock's playing at the moment, because of illness or injury or whatever's wrong with him, um, he can't play his own position currently. So, um, mm. and it's a, it's risky as well. We, we're not safe yet. We do need a couple of wins, and unfortunately, it's not the time to start messing about trying false nine things out. I do think it's a good idea, but I just yeah. unfortunately I think it's a little bit too risky given the current situation. Um, because at the end of the day, if we just keep playing Chris Wood, and hopefully he has a few improved games, we will we will win a few more and be safe, and then we can just sort this out in the summer. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I we just got to stick with him. I don't think there's a better option right now. Yeah, all the other options uh, are too risky. Alex, your number one fan is back. Uh, will uh, who says good to see the brains of the show back. Uh, oh, emotional- thanks, Will. Emotional Paul can be too much to heart and too much heart at times. Well, I'm sorry for being emotional. Just I'm passionate, sorry for being aren't you, heart. Paul? Yes, Just passionate. I'm very fact. sorry for being a passionate fan of my my club. I do apologise. Anyway, um, uh, what would be nice do for if you people could compliment me without without also offending the other two? Let's just be nice <laughs> to everybody, guys. Listen, what I'll Classic do for you, Will. Me. I've, I've promised. I've promised him a T-shirt, Alex, with your face on it, right? But what we'll also do is. When Alex does does the big shave, right, I'll send you some of his hairs in an envelope and you can put them on the wall wow. in a frame, right? Wow. There you go. Uh, Stephen says, even the boys and girls, I think four points until the end of the season would keep us up. Uh, I would take a draw tomorrow. If it came to it, if it came well, yeah, to it. Yeah, I'd rather draw than I'd obviously draw. lose. But, but I think but, we've got to Nah, we've got to go for the points tomorrow, man. We've got to go. We're at the Fortress. We're at St. James's. The flags will be flying. Oh, nah, it's got to be three points for me. You, you talk about draws. In Eddie Howe's press conference, when he was mentioning the previous results, he said, we haven't won in three games. Not not we haven't had any points yeah. in three games. Yeah. He's very, very, he chooses his words carefully and he, he emphasises wins. 
He, he is very articulate, you know. He's yes, very good. Yeah. Um, uh, just uh, let you know, guys, if you are enjoying tonight's show, as usual, please do give us the thumbs up. It does help with this uh, crazy thing called the YouTube algorithm, which uh, basically puts us on the front page of things. Um, and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, like so many people have done recently, please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, which will let you know when we go live or when we upload a video. Uh, and you can become a member of the Toon Review. Uh, I think we're up to nearly 150 members, which is incredible. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, we do have another members draw coming up. And this is the book that we are giving away. Oh, it's my favorite book, Paul. Yes, I've read it and it's incredible. Um, now, Steph got her prize this morning. She was very impressed with it. So oh, um, it's Bobby, Op Bobby Robson's uh, farewell, but not goodbye autobiography. So we are giving that oh, away as the next member's draw, um, which will probably be, be, actually we'll do it on Saturday on the uh, review show. Um, so uh, we will do that live on the show. Uh, so make away. sure you remember for that one. Uh, we are starting to give prizes away now, as you know, on this channel. Merch is coming, and some people will win hoodies, cups, whatever it may be. Um, but listen, I came up with a good idea for one of the merch, and I think you two will like this. You know, remember them pens in, in you know, that, that you tip them upside down when you, you went to seaside and then suddenly it revealed a pair of breasts or something like that. You know, one of them rude pens. with this, but yes. You know, what, what I thought was just like the three of us on one of them pens and then when you tipped it the other way, one of our quotes came through, you know, like, you know, slap my ass with a wet jellyfish or something <laughs> oh like gosh. that, you know. It just, uh, I just I, I want one. I'm yeah, intrigued. of course. Um, so, listen, all I'm saying is there's, there's prizes to give away. There's lots <laughs> of stuff coming up uh, for the Love members. It. We will also do um, prize draws for the subscribers as well. Um, mm -hmm. so I'm getting some stuff together for that as well. Um, so yeah, Bobby Robson's autobiography that will be the next prize to our members on Saturday's show. So make sure you remember for that one. Um, and also thank you to Jordy Riffs as usual for continued sponsorship of the channel. Um, premium guitars services in the northeast of England, fantastic. Um, Graham and Natalie, and uh, they've got their own um, recording studios, 10% off your first repair, 10% off your first setup. Um, they've got a, a recording studio. Can you imagine being in one of them? Just just with a guitar and just twanging away, you know what I mean? It's just If that's what they do. do I the mean, twang? I went I in there, know. they wouldn't have us back. Do you know what I mean? Let's be honest. But, you well, know. no, half a Newcastle would tumble. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't think soundproof barriers would be good enough for your guitar no. playing, Danielle, to be honest. No. Um, but anyway, catch Geordie Riffs at geordieriffs.co.uk, uh, Geordie Riffs on Instagram, and Geordie Riffs official on Facebook. Uh, give Graham and Natalie a shout. Fantastic uh, couple to deal with. Um, and uh, Do join our Facebook group as well. Uh, we're well over a 1,000 members on that, so if you're on Facebook, get yourself on there. Look for the Toon Review. Click join and agree to the uh, rules, and then myself or one of the mods will approve. And you can also find us on Instagram. And we do have a Discord as well, which is linked down below in the description. Um, Joe says, uh, Dan may make mistakes, but Lascelles has absolute clangers. Uh, I yes, I probably agree with that. Oh, and by the way, if you do want to donate to the show, as usual, Super Chats are available. Hit the dollar sign at the bottom of the live comments, and that will take you through that way. Uh, thank you in advance for that, and thank you to the guys that have already done so tonight. Uh, v says, uh, was, was asked if you got Cody on a free uh, but never mind. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Agents, Ancients of Moo Moo says, let's get behind all the players. Whoever plays, think Byrne will play, but if Lascelles plays, then I would be hoping he has a good game. Absolutely. We'll still support them, won't we? Yeah. I think they'll both play, to be fair. You think he's going three at the back, don't you? I do. Do you? Oh, I, think, I think he's going to match them up. I, purely because of the midfielders being ill and injured and... They play wing backs. I think he might just try and match them because it didn't work against Tottenham at all. So, mm. unless he's going to try the same thing as we did against Tottenham with a bit more caution, or he'll go to wing backs. Uh, I think it's, I don't know, I'm, for something, something's telling me it's going to be wing backs. I could be wrong. Well, I hope you are because I don't want to see wing backs at home. I really don't. No. I don't think we've got the, 
nah, nah. Uh, Will Zef one, thank you for another 10 euro super chat. Uh, oh, there's no comment, kind. just a big emoji smiling face. So oh, thank you very, that's very much. Kind for of that. You. Certainly is. So Spurs played wing backs and put five past us in their home. So there's nothing wrong with wing backs at home if it's done right. Danielle. Have a word with I, him, I just can't it. I can't it. Honestly, <laughs> no. What the hell has been going on with him tonight? I Honestly. love it though. I kind of like it. Do you know well, what I mean? Yeah, well, anybody would, wouldn't they? Mm-hmm. I kind of uh, like uh, it. I think. Uh, Go on, Alex. I don't get. Uh, uh, you wouldn't mind us playing wing bags if we scored five tomorrow. I, well, of course surely. not. No, but if we I score just, five tomorrow. I mean it. Like I'm not going to say now because I don't like. Story. I don't like the the the, the thinking of five at the back because of the, the you know. The wing back the system because of how bad it's been in the past. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, hundred percent. It's just about points at this point. It's not, not because it's good. Because you know what points make? Prizes. Aye, lass. Aye. There he's you not. Go. He's not gonna. He's not, There's no way that Eddie Howe's moving towards our system. Don't worry. He bought somebody like Kieran Trippier, so I wouldn't worry. It's de- he's definitely not going in that direction in the future. It's just about does it fit in the match? So. Indeed. Uh, Adam Craddock, thanks for becoming a new member. Welcome to the Tune Review family, my friend. Uh, Kath says, I want Dan Byrne, not Lascelles. I mean, how are you? Yes, uh, Kath. Could Byrne play Shah and Lascelles, Byrne, Shah and Lascelles together? We're just talking about that now, Kieran. Mm. Uh, well, Alex is. Uh, wonder if Wolves had to pay £6.10 to get up here. <laughs> uh, War flags into level seven tomorrow, I've heard. Come on, lads. Yes, they are in level seven tomorrow. Amazing. So that should be amazing awesome. as well. Uh, Tangy, good evening. Uh, Paul, I got the white box Xbox Series S, had it for 18 months now. Good console, it is indeed. I'm very impressed very with good. it. Um, have you got it as well? Yeah, I've got one. The Series S, yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, you're gonna be Xbox buddies now. Xbox buddies, I don't even know if that, that isn't even a song. I don't know why I broke into song there. <laughs> uh, Robert says, I heard we were buying Benzema in the summer. Hey, how good was he last night, by the way? Mm-hmm. That first header, yeah. that first header, well, and his second one. I mean, we're just incredible. I mean, yeah. you know, Chris Wood, take note. That is how to get on the end of crosses. That is how to put yourself right in there. But he's five years older than Chris Wood, and the, just the the tactical prowess and positioning, just the change of pace. Yeah, yeah, he's five years older than Chris Wood. He doesn't need to take notes. I'm not asking him to be Benzema. That's unfair. But no, but at least try. Yeah. Uh, it would be nice. Chippers, thank you for your £10 super chat, matey. Aww, Very kind. Um, the amount of red meat consumed by Danielle and Alex means they could probably open a butcher's. I love a rant. Thank you, Chippers. It's just because other things have cheesed me off today, like this Champions League rule and all oh, the rest of it. No, That's no, cheesed no, no, me no. right off. We, like, I can't already, even yeah, cope. Yeah. We've spoke that. about that. We've spoke about that Cartel. many times. Whew. Alex, any more thoughts on that? You know, because well, I, I messaged never... some friends and family who are Man U fans, and I'm not sure they've replied to me. Uh, mm. Only one has; the rest have gone quiet. Funnily enough, it is mm. a joke. It, it is an absolute joke. joke. Because especially fast. players, teams like Wolves and Leicester, and even Villa are going through a similar process. Uh, they're obviously more where we are in terms of trying to transition. Mm. But there's so many teams in the league that are trying to push on into top 10 and try and turn into a European yeah. team. All mm. of these teams that are in transition trying to push for that, they could get shafted by just random little rules just pushed by in. The by the same old six. Yeah. The same old ones. The same old the blood shit bags doing it yeah. again. Uh, Sounds like competitive uh, to me. Indeed. Uh, please can Danielle show us more of a lovely cat. I'm pleased he said cat. Uh, yeah. Hang on. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart. She's asleep. It is Dipsy. Hello. Hello. There is Dipsy the cat who is also uh, on our Facebook and YouTube covers. It's the mascot. Uh, yes, sitting above uh, Danielle Short. Yes, she is, I guess she is the official Tune Review mascot, isn't she? Is. She is, yes. yeah. Um, so there you go. Uh, Alan, thanks for your £10 super chat. Uh, he says, Lascelles ahead of Byrne, Longstaff ahead of Bruno. The world's gone mad. Oh, I know. I'm not sleeping night now. Cheers, Alex. Who said the head of them? What? I don't no, think anybody. I don't think anybody no, it, said it, that. It's sarcastic. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. P- some people have suggested it, Alex. <laughs> the cells ahead of Burn tomorrow and Longstaff ahead of Bruno. Uh, I wouldn't mind giving them mad. a try in our system, but not instead of people. That's no. There's no way. No, 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 no. Uh, Paul says if Bruno scores tomorrow night, I'll hear St James's down here in Essex. Yeah. Oh, you sure will. You sure will. 
Uh, Michael, thank you. Michael Marsden, 89.99 Super Chat. Absolute legend yet again. Um, I don't know what I'd do without him, honestly. He's just, he's, he's, he's like the official, you know how Dipsy's the official sponsor, official mascot. He's the official benefactor by a long shot. Um, I mean, it, it's the kindness. The thing is, is with Michael Law, it's, it's, it's not just that as well. He's a genuinely wonderful man. Like, I've, yeah. well, at the time I've spent with him before and after games, he's just mm. a lovely, lovely human he's being. He's top, amazing. Top of the so many people to meet when I come over. It's, it's you have, man. Yeah, you really he's have. Just, you know those people, a bit like Dave, really, who are genuinely kind. That's Michael. Yeah. yeah. He, and the thing is, he doesn't donate that just to get all the thanks. He donates it no. because he's genuinely thankful for what we exactly. do. Exactly. Um, and, mm-hmm. and and that's just, just a lovely man because he's so kind-hearted and from. he's he's just incredible. Thanks again, mm-hmm. Michael. Can you text me, Michael, and let me know if you're going to the game tomorrow so I know what time to meet you at Gap Park, mate. Um, because I have a feeling it's Friday night. We'll need to get through there a bit earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michael says 29 points would have been enough to keep a team up last season. Over the last six or seven years, it's been around 35, 36. What total are we looking at this year, guys? Oh, God. It, it's it's very up in the air right now. A, a lot of people mm-hmm. think 37-ish, mm-hmm. um, but because of Burnley and the fact that they are winning a bit, and there is the added factor that we play them <laughs> on the final day of the season. Mm-hmm. Um, the the original uh, about two two months ago, the predicted required points was thirty four, thirty five, and that's been creeping up and up and up because yeah, it has, teams yeah. are just winning games. Like Leeds have started winning games. Everton won the odd one. Uh, oh. Burnley started winning games, and it's it's muddied the waters a little bit. So we're not sure. Uh, that I totally still think there's a anything. twist, Alex. I still think there's a twist in all of this over the the last nine games. We're not the twist. Think a twist. No, yeah, not, us. Not, not us. us. No, 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 no. 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 We're out of that. Um, oh, God, Alex, you love this comment. Uh, ASM is too much of a luxury. He needs oh, dropping. No, no. no. Daniel, oh, we just, just won't buy quiet. any luxury players then. I'm, I'm staying the quiet. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll just buy functional players and we'll win the Champions League with 11 functional players then, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. I'm sorry. It's ridiculous. We've got it. We've got it. It needs to be a balance. If you look at every top team, Manchester City has a combination of luxury players and functional players who do their mm. jobs. To every team has this. They have do their jobs well, functional players, and they have a bit of flair. It is very normal. Even if we get rid of ASM, fine. If people don't like him, whatever. But we're going to need some flair back <laughs> in another position. It's how football. <laughs> whatever. <works>. Yeah. <laughs> in other words, Alex is just saying, "What is it, Danielle? Get out of here. Who who wins the Champions get your League? Get out of here." <laughs> Well, who would Leicester were the last team to win the league without flair? The, their flair was oh, uh, they had Mares. I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. they had, well, there you go. Then this is proving my point even more. They had Vardy, Mares, and Kante to mm-hmm. win trophies. You need the functionality, you need the, the hard working ethic, but you also need a bit of talent and flair. Um, so we can't just get rid of all the luxury, um, because mm-hmm. we'll become very one dimensional and. When teams are good at defending, how do we pick those locks? What do we do? If they, if they, you know, we need that as we grow into a stronger team. We can't just get rid of it all. Danielle, I think Chris has walked the beast. He, he is mm-hmm. right. It's a luxury player, but you need luxury players. Uh, what, what, uh, I, no hey, I get that, Alex. I get, I, I'm not going to argue with you tonight. There's no chance yeah. of that. <laughs> It's just a funny, I agree with everybody saying ASM is a luxury player and he makes mistakes, but we need somebody like that as well on the flip yeah. side. Um, it works both ways. Fair enough. Mary, I'm not happy with this. Mary Port Mag, I'm not happy with this. Hi, great show tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and Paul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love our subscribers, you know. No, I, I just think do. I'm going to have to take this channel down. I'm, I'm, I'm getting too much. <laughs> Too much flack. Matthew says we need a good performance tomorrow, but I'm hoping Maxi performs well, especially. Uh, Matthew says, ooh, Oscars. Indeed, ooh, Oscars. Uh, right, Alex, have you got your little uh, graphics? No, no graphic. Nothing. It's nothing. It's what? the same what? same lineup as Spurs. <laughs> it's it's wingbacks. It's white shirts into orange shirts. It's do you exactly have, do you know how many li- just how many nights you've just ruined now, Alex? Okay, well, for, for, we can still discuss the formations. 
Um, it's nothing to do with the formations, Alex. It's a, a lot of the subscribers watch these previews just to see your graphics, and you haven't made the effort to do it tonight. You, you, you've, you've offended them all. What would you like to say to our lovely subscribers for your failure tonight? I'm sorry I didn't paint the white shirts <laughs> orange for the graphic. Oh. <laughs> Not even a genuine apology. <laughs> Well, there's no way around it. This, there, Alex, I love listen, it. I love it. I've come to the conclusion right there is no way around this man. This man has nah. no left, no right. It's straight no. down the middle, and yeah. you cannot get past that 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 wall. Uh, it just just refuses. He's got I, a I comeback. Feel... Yeah. I I was at my laptop doing other. Re... I have been here for a couple of hours pre-show, and I could have made. I could have done a pitch side view, and mm-hmm. I chose to write down other things instead because I just felt. I felt like they play the same system. Uh, it's basically the same system minus the world class sort of Harry Kane Son stuff. It's it's very similar. Um, the way they were playing against um, Leeds and Villa, they were they were making little triangles outright, uh, out, mostly outright, using their wing backs. Uh, it's yeah. it's very similar. It's very very similar to what Spurs were doing. Just possibly a little bit of step down in quality, uh, but they play um, better as a team because they. Yeah. They're very well gelled. They, mm. you know, they've got the Portuguese contingent. A lot of them have known each other for a, for a lot more years, mm. um, and it's it's very much of the same. And the, the way we can hit them, the way they've been conceding goals, is set pieces and a little bit of sloppiness at the back. So we mm. need to be aggressive with that. Um, so it is very much, very much the same. Uh, their front three are very interchangeable. Neto played twenty one minutes against Villa, so he may or may not get a start. So I don't very think he's started done. yet, has he, since he came back from injury? Yeah. He's been no. Just, yeah. uh, uh, Similar to Maxi, he's sort of got just, 23 yeah. minutes in his sub-appearance, then made a start. Neto's had Probably a 20 start tomorrow, then. So he, he well, might he's start, it's very that. possible. Mm. Uh, I've looked at a couple of websites, they don't think he will start. He's not in the oh. predicted lineups of a couple of sites. Uh, it doesn't mean it's correct, but, you know, the, what, the sites that all do bookies and stuff typically are closer to the money, because they don't want to lose yeah. their money. Mm. Um, so... It, it's very much the same with the three at the back. Dendonka in midfield because Neves is injured. I don't um, rate Dendonka. I, I, no. I don't rate him. I, I think he's a bit... He's not too bad. I've had a look no, at No, he's not a bad player, now. but I, I just don't think he's he's nowhere near the level that Neves, etc. is. I mean, he's, he's a bit clunky. If that's the yeah, right word. I love use. that word. I love His that word. His statistical clunky. profile suggests he's, he passes sideways a lot mm. and he's good at blocks, clearances and aerial duels. Um, he, his progressive passes, carries, he, he doesn't seem to, to get the ball forward very often. Uh, yeah. But maybe that's the instruction because they use the wing backs and they go, they build up in a different way. It mm-hmm. could be on purpose. Um, and they've, he's got Martinho stood next to him. So maybe the, maybe the, as we've had, we've to be, this has been the instruction when we had Shelby. Sometimes mm-hmm. our instruction was give it to Shelby and let him do a progressive pass. Um, so it doesn't mean that he can't do it necessarily. It just means that Martinho is better at it. In, yeah. in the same way that um, before we've assigned new centre backs and defensive help, uh, the, the instruction was to Lascelles just let Burn pass the ball because you can't pass the ball. That was our instruction for a couple of weeks. Mm. Um, so it very much is, is a system. I don't think it matters that Dendog is not very not one. He's not. It's not that he's not very good. He is a good player. He's just not as good as Neves. Mm. Um, but they, they're going to play for the system, not for individuals. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Neil has a good point here. Mm-hmm. Uh, he says, uh, surely the way Bruno plays the ball through defences, it would be more Gale's way of running onto balls. And we spoke about that the other day, Alex, about, you know, would not run in the channels. You know, and, and that's what Shelby was, you know, particularly looking yeah. for when he gets the ball. Um, Bruno's going to find the same problem, though, isn't he? Potentially, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure there would be many runners for Gale. Uh, for Gale, for, I wouldn't. I'm not sure that he would be able to find Gale against a back three and uh, Wolves. But it is a good point. Um, a few people have mentioned Maxi in the comments. Uh, I'd, I'd like to see Fraser turn up because he's been absent mm, for a while. Yeah, he has. He, he's had there. probably a game and a half's worth of nothing, um, and we know he can play very, very well. So I want to see some effort. He's at home again. Maybe he'll be a bit more motivated. Um, and just, just in case. Maybe he had a bit of illness as well. Maybe this isn't completely his fault. We don't know. Eddie Howe's not been. Yeah. He's not disclosed mm-hmm. everything. So uh, maybe the criticism is a little bit too harsh. Uh, I mean, Maxi wasn't in the training photo either from today. So 
Uh, but I'd like to see, like you said, Paul, the runners need to turn up for, to receive these passes. So Fra- Fraser and Maxi have to turn up. Because mm-hmm. if, if once we get that ball and people look up for a pass, we can't just have Chris Wood stood on his heels waiting for a... Like, we need a bit more. We need a bit more. Yeah. Uh, Mary Paul Mark says, Paul, are you having a watch along tomorrow? Uh, no, I don't do the commentaries for home games because I'm actually at the game. Um, I normally do like an immediate reaction. And then um, Saturday at, what time do we say? Three o'clock Saturday three. afternoon, mm-hmm. um, we'll be doing the uh, match review. So uh, the three of us will be looking back uh, at uh, tomorrow night's game. Um, so we'll be having a look at the start and lineups, what tactics we implied and, and things like that. Um, so, yes, uh, we will be doing a, a, a review three o'clock on Saturday afternoon for that one. But I will be uh, doing a quick video uh, for an instant reaction after the game. Uh, Michael's just texted me to say he's going to the game. So, um, oh, gosh. Carl says, I would be happy with a point uh, per a game for the next three games and a win at Norwich. Um, I think we've got to win these a couple of home I games, think we've man. We've got to win, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it still gets us six points, but. I would prefer to win home games, yeah. I mm. mean, in the stadium, you want to see a win, for sure. I mean, don't get us wrong. Back at Christmas, absolutely. Mm. But I think the way if we come out tomorrow and we win the game, we could be, yeah, we'll go again. And I winning, think, and uh, you know what it is? I think some people forget where we were at Christmas. Um, you know, and I think people forget. Do you know what, Wolves? I mean, Jabba Dabba Do, thank you very much for your £5 super chat. Uh, he says, I think 2-1 Wood will score. Uh, two sloppy goals for us. Uh, well, I don't care if they're sloppy as long as we win. Um, mm-hmm. But Wolves brings back memories because that fan forum we did immediately after the Wolves mm-hmm. game God. was probably the most depressed the Newcastle yeah. fan base has ever been. And then 24 hours later, I'm doing another live stream celebrating the potential of a takeover. And the next day, I'm doing a live stream celebrating the takeover. That was one of the most bizarre seven days, I think, I've, I've ever come lives. across with Newcastle yeah. United. It was incredible. The mm-hmm. the complete lows. Uh, I mean, I remember sitting in the car doing an instant reaction video saying um, we're shite or some kind of thing. I yeah. was singing and I was going nuts. And then Adam was doing his sort of video next to us. And, and you know, we were, we were just sick of it all. And then, boof, within a couple of days, you know, we're getting taken over. It was just an incredible seven days. I um, can't wait for the end of the season so we can do like a highlight from the tune review for this season and all the highs and lows and all the funny bits. I, I've been thinking about that earlier in the week, just thinking about all the good times we've had. Well, you know whose hard. job that will be, so, um, uh, uh, Susan. Danielle? Uh, Susan! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she'll have to plough through all the uh, all the videos and oh god, she'll love that. Take, uh, god Jesus. bless her. But that would be a brilliant show if we can knock together mm-hmm. the best of, uh, mm-hmm. uh, you know, the, the best of. Yeah, well, the best of season twenty one, twenty two, and it mm-hmm. would be it would be brilliant. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people would enjoy that, including yeah. probably all of us. We would. Um, uh, Terry says Wood occupation is a totem pole. Defenders don't look out for him; just slip around him. Um, mm-hmm. In about Wood, I didn't think he even wanted to come in January. We paid his release clause and he knows we've got to play him. Yes, I'm okay, Ash. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Wood might have caught Woodworm. (laughs) Wow. Uh, Chris Wood signing him. The best part was January. Burnley was relegation rival. Eddie Howe's style and tactic not necessarily suiting Chris Wood, who working under Dyche and Burnley worked very well. Uh, It did. Uh, but that, we said that was because he played a two. Would he ever go to a two, do you think? Um, based on his previous formations with us and his other clubs, mm, probably not. I mean, he, he's had Callum Wilson and Josh King up front together on occasion, but he mm. did, did like more of a 4-1-4-1. Do you not think he would if things that. went wrong more? Well, I, I know, he, you know, Alex mentioned Obviously. Josh King and, and Callum Wilson there. I... I what the hell was that? Touching wood. Oh, okay. I mean, that was See, when if, they got. If I'd have said that about you, I'd have got my ass kicked. But you mentioned a good point there, Alex, because he, he did play Callum Wilson and Josh King for quite a while. They mm. were quite successful in the time that he did play those two up front as well. It it did help that there was like how many assists is Fraser get in that season? Well, Fraser Fraser bonkers. got a lot of assists. Yeah. Statistic. Um, yeah, that was in the season they finished eighth. I think it was incredible. They had an absolutely incredible season. 
Um, he was sort but, of give the ball to Fraser, Fraser across, and he, he knew Josh King or, or Wilson would be there. Yeah. Wilson had a had a little bit more pace back then than he does now. Um, it was pre ACL, or was it? It might have even been post. I think no, it was a post ACL because he, he mm. broke a leg or did an ACL first yeah. season back in the Prem. Came back from that and they got an eighth place finish. Yeah. So um, that just shows you what Callum Wilson can do post injury. Um, Indeed. But I, I don't um, know. I, the, the scary thing is, is if Chris Wood gets injured, what the hell do we do then? <laughs> Get Talking about playing a two. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, there is that possibility. Who do we play up front then? Yeah. Um, well, oh, I have I don't a question. Think you'll find a lot of Newcastle fans disappointed if he, if he, if he was injured. Oh, he's got this mystery wow. illness. Oh, well, yeah, but well, then, we'll, then we'll see Gale up front for a game. And then we'll all, want, we'll all know why Eddie Howe's probably not picking him. Um, Matt, Matt yeah. Ritchie, you mentioned him in the interview, but he never, they, they, again, the journalists don't seem to be asking the right questions. If Get away. He, he said Matt Ritchie Shocked. has a part to play. If he does have a part to play, is he going to play as a winger or as a left back? Mm. Indeed. Questions that need to be answered. Uh, Lee, thank you for the comment. Hope uh, you're okay, Paul. Best show on YouTube. This head and shoulders above them all. Thank you very much. Oh, thank really you. Really kind. Uh, Matthew says, I thought Willock was our best player first half against Spurs. Second half, he was terrible like the rest. Um, Terry says, Wood's a robot. Uh, Christopher says, uh, if Pickford abandons ship from Everton, then let's hope he doesn't hit the water as T-Rexes can't swim. You know what? I don't I don't think half of them have got relegation clauses either, so I think they're in a lot of trouble. Oh, dear. Who? Everton? I, I, yeah, I don't think players like Pickford... I think a lot of them were signed. Have you the seen their running, by the way? Have you seen yeah, their we running? Looked, well, me and Lee had a row last night because he said... What would you do if Pickford signed for Newcastle? And I said, absolutely not. No way, Jose. Based on the fact of uh, he's from Sunderland, obvs. So then we looked at the fixture as whoa, like they have got a tough yep. running. They've got a real difficult running. It's going to be extremely mm. screw them financially as well because like it is said, no. Yep. They don't have rele- relegation clauses in because most of these new players signed under the impression that they were going to be challenging for Europe. So mm-hmm. they didn't put relegation clauses in most of these lads' contracts. I don't so think anybody anybody thought. I know there was all the rigmarole about uh, Rafa and stuff, but I don't think anybody thought that come with sort of nine, ten games left in the season that they would actually believe that Everton are in the situation that they're in. It's it's unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, Renier says, I would stick with Wood. Uh, we have no other options, really. Wouldn't gamble on another forward. Um Wiggles says, I think they thought they bought Peter Crouch. <laughs> uh, Chris, uh, hope you're well, mate. Uh, change Chris Wood's name to Chris Plank. Oof. Uh, Santos says, hey, Paul, I made some canny little graphic logos for the Toon Review. What's the best way to send them over to you? Uh, Santo, if you do them on email um, at pd.toonreview at gmail.com, it's in the description right at the bottom. Um, you can, or if you're on Twitter, I have sort of put my Twitter account on there again, but I'm not interacting on it. I'm just advertising shows uh, and using it to contact people. Um, so you can contact me there if you wish as well. But the email address is right at the bottom of the description, mate. You can send them on there. Um, Gary says, I think if there's illness in the camp and only 14 trained today, it could be an interesting team selection. Do we know who was missing today in training? I try to think. No, I, I don't remember know. the list. No. Uh, ASM definitely wasn't in the in the picture. Yeah, that could that wasn't. could be deliberate though. Yeah. That could be. Yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not buying that. I think ASM's in it more. Well, there, there was 14 pictured outside, and Wilson and Trippy are pictured in the gyms, and then. Yes. Yeah. That was it. Oh God. Uh, Gary says uh, at mod show is shown as due at 1900. We all know it was 2000. Just for some that might have been waiting instead of setting the reminder. No, it's always been eight. You know what it is, Paul. You know what it is on the YouTube app. Yeah. It sometimes shows us a different time, but obviously when you click on it, it says like, say if I went on it at like seven o'clock, it would say go live in sixty minutes. Mm. Um, but I noticed that because my the the, 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 actually I was watching that big jet TV today. Earlier today, because I normally have uh, like put a YouTube Why thing not? on. Hey, what are you laughing at? Who? Me, Alex. I, I had that on a few weeks ago. Well, last big, um, no, I had that on as well a few weeks ago when we had the big storm. It was interesting. Yeah, he was. He was back, yeah, and he thought the day because it was windy as hell again. So it was quite good actually. But I mm-hmm. had him on 
just while I was doing the doing some thumbnails and stuff, and uh, I've said my son Ben he wanted a little YouTube account set up to uh, oh. video his Roblox stuff, so um, he's uh, I set a, a YouTube account up for him today. And just while he was on, he was saying that um, some people actually commented that um, they thought he was on an hour earlier or an hour later. I can't remember which one it was, but it must be something. I know there's been problems with the YouTube app. Yes. Um, with, uh, with 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 times and stuff since the uh, clocks went forward, there's been mm. problems with the YouTube app. So do what Danielle's done. Just click on the show itself, and then it'll mm -hmm. tell you for definite when it is. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I have no, I have, I have no power over that at all. Yeah. I, I can't do anything, uh, anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, only eighty eight likes. Well, this was 8.38. It's now 10 past 9, so there could be a few more. But come on, hit that thumbs up. It's not very difficult, and you don't have to pay to do with it. Um, right. It is time for the team predictions and do, scores. Do, do. Uh, we all know we love doing this. Um, Eddie Howe's Newcastle. It's like picking names out of a hat. Who knows? Indeed. Danielle, you can go first. I'm going to Bravka. I'm going Target, Burn, Shaw, Emil Craft. So you're sticking with the back four. I am. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm going Bruno, Shelby, and Big Joe. And I'm going the same three up front ASM, Wood, and Fraser. Interesting. Uh, Alex, predicted team? Uh, I'm going to Bravco goal. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to go with uh, Target and. Either Murphy or Mankio as a right wing back, Ooh. and then a back three of um, Burn, Charlesells, and then I think his midfield two is going to be Bruno and Longstaff. I think he's going to give purely because Shelby wasn't in the pictures today. There's mm -hmm. the illness and the the injuries to Willock and Joe Linton. I think it's purely because of illness and injuries. I don't think it's necessarily what he would choose if it, if he could pick anything. So yeah. Bruno, I think he's going to put Bruno and Longstaff together, but because of his reduced options and then our standard front three of Maxi Wood and Fraser um, and obviously ASM wasn't in pictures today so maybe Murphy will get a start as a winger depending on who's ill and not ill um, you know he mentioned the illness a lot today so I'm wondering if he's doing that to cover his tracks based on whatever selection he's going to be forced into tomorrow mm -hmm. uh, he might have been setting himself up so that we don't hound him well, I, I wouldn't do that, but some people do like to do that. So I think it's going to be wing-backs. Would you like to name names, Alex? Well, the, specifically the fans that, that that drove the journalist questions to talk about our mood swings as a fan base. And Indeed. you all know who you are, whoever you are, because you know that's why we're getting talked about like that. Fair enough. Uh, the team I'm going for is uh, exactly the same as Danielle's. Um, I, I, that's not to say that I'm not disagreeing with you Alex because we I think just don't know may... who's ill or do it so just clarify think... this is what I think he's going to do it's not made mm. necessarily what yeah, I would do yeah, um, yeah, yeah exactly 100% and I, th I think um, oh yeah, I love yeah. that war flags oh. on me and dad's seat yeah they have I love uh, that yeah um, Jeanette says I'm your number one fan Alex okay oh, uh, yes, Charlie's man. going 2-1 uh, listen we will get some uh, if you want me to get some uh, you know Stat or T-shirts done for merch, you know, with his with his glasses on, like he's like at the top of the YouTube cover where he's got his gl sunglasses on with the dollar signs in the middle. Uh, the same for Danielle, you know, we, we can. No, it's neat point. want to buy them. I don't know, Danielle. You know, no. when you're standing there with Dipsy on your shoulder, you know. Ah, oh, the, the animals sell absolutely. <laughs> I have got a stat for you, by the way, <laughs> that might muddy muddy tomorrow. Uh, Wolves haven't had a penalty this season. They haven't scored a penalty. Oh, We've only had gosh. one. So. That that's concerned me slightly. So Great. they've got to get one at some point this Marvelous. season. And likewise, we we've been due. We should have probably had five. Never mind one. Super. Well, Jeanette says yes, please. So she obviously will buy oh. a t-shirt. <laughs> uh, bless her. Um, right. Uh, so uh, yeah, it, it, it. I mean, to be honest, it it it's. Uh, well, Abs says I can't forgive the lack of graphics tonight. She's very upset. Well, Abs is very upset. Is Abs a woman or a man? I don't know. I mean, don't know. Abs. I mean, normally it's short for Abigail, isn't it? Um, yeah. But there was an Abs there from was, five, wasn't it? I was going to say there was a, a member of five called Abs. Yeah. I loved five. I loved five. Oh, tremendous. Well, I promise. But not when there were three. Um, 
no, 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 I will always do a graphic, even if the following team we play is the same formation. I will, uh, I'll make sure I do it. Then, if people really like it, then that's great. It's good feedback. It means I know I've got to do it. Uh, yeah. Alex, I love you, man. Uh, Gary says all three of you want a shirt uh, like the profile pic. Awesome merch, Susan. Susan. There you go. You got it. The t-shirts are they're, they're there. You don't have to just just there. Uh, anyone think Eddie Howe doesn't have a style and just tries to copy the opposing team to beat them? No. Uh, Susan's just texted me something and it looks like stop, stop. Oh my way. god, what that is tremendous! Just bear oh. with me one second. I, I, I need to try and get this into. Um, yes, I want to save the photo. Um, because I want to try and get this on to show everybody. Well, Jeanette will be very, very happy with it. If, if, oh, if, if here it this. comes. Um, oh god, I'm just trying to be worried. It. Uh, no, because it looks tremendous, but I don't know where it's gone, Alex. I've saved it, and it's disappeared. I mean, um, I can answer that comment if you want. Yes, please. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I was playing a 4-3-3 and trying to win the ball back in the final third with pressures, which is not the way everybody else plays in the Premier League or in Europe. So that is his. that's the style he's gone for at the moment based on the players we've got now. And mm -hmm. he's even said that he's going to change the formation and style going forward, depending on who we sign. So he's not just going for the same as everybody else. I mean, Spurs played win backs and we didn't copy them. So we've never really done that. That's not, mm -hmm. not our thing. How how it does have his own his own way for sure. Yeah. Uh oh damn, I kinda get I'm this. I'm dying to see this pitch up all. I kinda Oh man. Oh, I, I, hang on, hang on. I know how I can do it. Just bear with me. Uh, okay. Just just talk talk something. Say something, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Say something. Yeah, no, Eddie Howe does have his own style. We don't know what he's going to... We don't know what he's going to move to, but he does have... Um, he does have his system of pressures. I mean, he... Say he doesn't necessarily have his own style. Before he signed with us, he did go and learn from Atletico and from different places. Did he go to Portugal as well? So he's been learning yeah. from different places around Europe. He's been he um, mentioned in his interview before he signed. He built built up a big dossier and folders with his with his old backroom mm -hmm. staff, learning. Um, so it would be bizarre if he came into our job and just didn't know what he was doing. Um, you got. He passed an interview with Flying Colours. They were very impressed by his interview before signing. So yeah, apparently it, it they won the, he won the chairman over straight away. He was always the number one of the chairman. So yeah, yeah, I've heard that. Um, mm -hmm. Apparently his interview was incredible. He was showing how he would improve certain players and get more out of them value wise. And he's done that. To be fair, there's four mm -hmm. or five lads that we thought were goners that suddenly are for the work that he's done with Big Joe alone. I mean, for God's sake. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it looks like people like Shelby and Joe Linton could be with us for another two, three, four, maybe with Joe Linton, maybe longer than that. And whereas before he how came in, we thought they were probably gone in the summer, which is yeah. right. not true anymore. Right. Jeanette, Jeanette, are you ready? Because here it is. This could be a t shirt. Love it. Love it. Stats. That is incredible. I mean, that. Alex, just that. look at how you're dressed, man. A nice pair of brown mm -hmm. boots, you know, chinos oh. on, a, a nice jacket. You look mm -hmm. the part I'll have to there, get the man. outfit. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go, Jeanette, just for you. That could well become a T-shirt in time. So, Smart, uh, that mind. Smart. It is. I mean, you, you just never know what happens. Susan's always on the ball when it comes to quick graphics and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I was concerned, right. but no, well done, Susan. That's very no, good. she wouldn't do it. She, she no. uh, uh, you can guarantee that when Susan does them, they'll be very, very um, – the, they'll not be silly. They'll be proper – yeah, I mean, this is. I think it was your giggle. Stuff. Your giggle worried me, but no, I know I can trust you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Anyway, right. Scores. Oh. Uh, Danielle, you first. Two 0 And the to scorers. Us, obviously, I'm gonna go. I don't even know who's playing, but um, I'm gonna go ASN. Hang on. Whoa. Jeanette's your mum. Yeah, she is. I said I mentioned oh, that a while ago. Yeah. Damn, damn, of course oh, it is. Love it. Bloody oh, hell's fire. What a legend. Oh, well, Jeanette, you could have one free of charge. I'll send you one free. Can you imagine son, how cool you know, she is? Jeanette oh, is coming. She's Alex's mum. Mm. Yeah, he's making you proud. Honestly, I'll send you one, Jeanette. There's no problem with that at all. Um, mm -hmm. 
I'll, I'll have to get your mum's address when we bring them out, Alex. And uh, But the first one will be going straight to your mum. Um, oh, that's uh, so lovely. Oh, can I have mummy on mine? Stats oh. Mummy. <laughs> oh, bless her. Stats mummy. Mummy's uh, yeah. really misses you, Alex. Indeed. I think she'll be very happy when you're back over here, that's for certain. Amen. Uh, she's actually been called Mama Stato now by everybody, so uh, there you go. Yay. She's got her own... She's got her own name, but uh, I'll get. Uh, I'll have to arrange to get your mum's size and get her the first shirt uh, yeah. when they go on pre-order. So that that's quality, Susan. That that there you go. Uh, so you're going. To, who did you say for scorers, Danielle? <laughs> Sorry, I've just got a vision of the highlights of my season. If you're just going, Susan, Susan, yes, Susan. <laughs> Susan? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we'll not do the comebacks um, that I'm I get from say Susan. What, ASM. you bloody twat? What? What? <laughs> I'm sick of you asking out in my name, you bloody idiot. <laughs> she's not like that at all, but, you know. No, she's really um, not. But... <laughs> Jeanette, just thank you. You see more of him than I do. Oh, oh, oh it's breaking well, my heart. you see him on here, you see him on here, Jeanette. And, uh, you know, I, I you call her every day. Grown. I do my best. Exactly. Oh, what there a good go. son. Uh, right. Who did you say was going to score, Daniel? Yes. Yes. Because I'm I'm flying the flag at the minute. Right. I think. Okay. I think. Well, we should let the whole social media know. Yeah. Let's, yeah. You better alert Twitter. <laughs> um, I think. No. I think he will score. Um, mm. especially at home. And the second goal. Hmm. I'm gonna say Bruno. Wow. Okay. Um, I could have said Emil Kraft. You could. Taurus says uh, 2 0. Chris Plank might get a goal. Stato should be ashamed. No graphics. My night is ruined. <laughs> hey, his mum's in the. His mum will yeah, be yes. in the case soon. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> Don't be insulting. God, what have I said to you tonight? Yeah, I know you're in trouble. Uh, uh, two well, ladies yeah. tonight. Julie uh, and. Uh, yes, well, uh, one lady, one brummy. Doesn't matter. <gasps> uh, <laughs> love you, Jules. You know I do. Um, yeah, Gary says we love you, Mama Stato. Oh, uh, this right. is why our subs are just so amazing, though. Aren't well, they? they make everyone family, feel it? so welcome. It's a big family, but... that's, that's what we are on this channel. Uh, Matthew says, quite moved. broken hearts with the lack of graphics tonight. Um, right, <laughs> score start all. I'm going with 2 1 to us, yes. Uh, yep. and I think it'll be a Bruno goal. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure about the second. I feel like it's going to be a scrappy, long staff or Lascelles kind of goal, edge of the box or bundled in from some nonsense. Um, some I feel nonsense. like, the, yeah, it would just be some. <laughs> what the hell is that? Some nonsense. Well, it will be. It will be eighteen odd players in the same box all scrapping with each other. It'll it'll a big goal mouth scramble is what you're trying yeah, to. Yeah, I think, that's I think the right be, word. Th there's been a lot. Of, watching the highlights of, I was watching the extended highlights of all of the recent Wolves games, and there's a, there's been a lot of that at the back. Um, yeah. And we're quite good at creating that with all the big lads. So it'd be disappointing if we can't at least create a bit of a scramble. Um, and we drew some goals. Yeah. Uh, and I, I don't know who their score would be. I think we might get overwhelmed on one flank at some point. Uh, you can always count one of our fullbacks to to not be in the right place. Mm. Um, I think Target's going to have a strong game because he's mm, wobbled a little bit. Maybe not his fault entirely. So I feel like he'll come back with a point to prove because of his. He was so good when he first came. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like they might get something. Maybe maybe Neto coming back in as a sub or starting might sneak a cheeky goal. Uh, and again, I am worried that there might be a pen somewhere in the game. It just, I just feel oh. it. There's not been any pens at all for them. One for us, um, oh. and there's no big six bias here, is there? So maybe, maybe they'll no, blow for a pen when it's supposed to be one yeah. this time. Yeah. Well, interesting. I'm going two nil, um, and I'm yeah. going with um, Bruno and Maxi. Uh, Same. Well, yeah. Love I, it. Listen, I, I've I've hammered Maxi the last couple of weeks, but you know what? I'd love it if he just just plays a blind at tomorrow and we see the same performance that he and gave he against Everton. He rips the headband home. off and he throws it into the Gallagher, and the Listen, crowd Alec, goes uh, wild. Danielle, Danielle, I don't want your like sexual fantasies about ASM scoring goals what? on this show, please. <sighs> Um, you know, start to throw his headband and stripping off and all that. We, we, we I never said need, stripping this off. It's a family show, <laughs> and Alex's mum's watching, so behave. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, listen, I definitely think um, we've got to go at it tomorrow. And I would love mm. to say, you know, 
Chris Wood to score, but I can't the way he's playing. But that's not no. to say that I wouldn't love it to see it because if we get a know, penny, mate. Well, maybe he's, yeah. But he's he's that his... sort of player, though, that looks like it doesn't matter how he's playing. Mm, um, true. It just looks like he'll score just randomly. Yeah. Um, he's a yeah. funny one. Yeah. Whereas Willock, uh, Willock's the opposite, whereas Willock improves performances and then gets goals. I feel like indeed. Wood's the opposite. I feel Wood will just get one from anything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're getting wrong off the mods now, Danielle. Cesare is telling you to cut this is a family show. <laughs> forever, forever, Ron saying, calm down, Danielle. Uh, keep it light, Danielle, says Matthew. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, Right. Anyway, that is the end of the preview show. Thank you so much for watching tonight. Uh, If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to give us the thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell, which will let you know when we upload or go live. Uh, Thank you to uh, everybody who super chatted tonight. Fantastic, Michael and the the rest. Thank you so much for your kindness. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, thank you to uh, Danielle and uh, Alex for joining me tonight. Thank you again to the mods for the hard work behind keeping the keeping the chat nice and clean. Apart from Danielle's filthy mouth d- during the show. <gasps> Do you know um, what? And uh, please join our Facebook group. Please join the Instagram uh, account, TikTok account as well. We're on everything. Uh, so go and uh, go and join the tune review on everything like that. Uh, hope you have an absolutely cracking weekend, everybody, especially tomorrow night during the match. Um, there's a couple of watch alongs. I'm sure Barry and John are doing a couple of watch alongs on their channel. Um, so go and go and give them a view. I'll be doing an instant reaction and then three o'clock on Saturday afternoon, join us here on the tune review where the three of us will be back again and, uh, we'll be picking the bones out of the game itself, hopefully celebrating three points. Um, but thank you for everybody watching tonight. Again, it's been fantastic viewing figures again. Thank you so much. And we will catch you live again on Saturday afternoon. Have a fab weekend, everybody. Good night, stay safe, be kind, and take care. Down in the depths of my soul.